What's up guys? Welcome to Tommy Unboxing Review. Today I'm going to show you the ISD's new charger. This is called the Key 4. Now let's unbox it. Now this is a menus. This is a stickers. And this is the protect for the screens. Now this is uh, charger cables. Oh, by the way, this is for the Europe's. Now this is for the AC. Now here is the key for. It's so big because this is a uh, AC and DC chargers. By the way, I. I think this is has a most powerful AC watt. Now it has a 400 watts for AC and 12,200 watts for DC. This is so big. It, this is a XT90 plugs for the DC powers, and here you can see the. Output it has two XD60 plugs and up to to 8S batteries. So that suits for me because I have a lot of speed run batteries. I made it by myself and it's is 8S, not two 2S series. I use 8S one batteries. It has three buttons for each side for each. And it can. It also has a Type C output plug. Here you can see this is for the DC's input, and this is for the AC input. Now I know the key for batteries. It has a new function for the chargers it has uh, it's called the bad air technologies so but you need to put this for your batteries so I will put it in my customs mid batteries now this is a 4s chip so what called the bad airs so when you put it in your batteries, you can use Bluetooth from your phones. You can check the voltage. You can check it by the Bluetooth. It's so convenient. So you don't need other tools. Just to shake the batteries, I, I see the, the you can see the voltage and some normal informations for the batteries and uh, you can even change the battery informations by this chargers so it's convenient it has another function that when your battery's voltage is higher than the storage bed voltage and it, it can drop the amperes to the storage voltage such as 3.85 per cells and it can just by this small chip you don't need to attach to the charger or some other tools it's so convenient so I will show you the bad air technologies soon Now I think the ISDD is changing the battery use in the future. Now here is the key force and the menus the screens. You can see the same as the SDP30. Now let's see the menus. Let's see the menus. You can change a lot of things. Here you can see the battery channel one. Now let's 
you can change the battery, battery air chips, max voltage, input ampere, and the storage uh, voltage. And here, this is when you didn't use your batteries, and after 72 hours, it can to the storage voltage. And you can even adjust the voltage of the four cells. Now look at these two batteries. It's a 4S 6000 milliampere 75C. Now when you shake the batteries, it connects to the apps. Now here is some more information about the batteries. The C's, the voltage per cells, the total voltage. And you can even update the firmwares, the temperature of the voltage. And here you can see the C readings and the charge C, the cycles,